I could comb my hair with this. Hi crafty friends, my name is Jenny from Origami Tree and today I'll be showing you how to make these origami claws. So they're very easy to make but before we get started be sure to leave a comment letting me know what tutorial you'd like to see next and let's get to it. To make the origami finger claws you're going to need 10 sheets of A4 paper which is 8 and a half by 11 inches. You may also want to use a bone folder to help you make better creases if you want or any kind of dull edge would do such as a ruler. Lastly this is completely optional but you might want to use some washi tape to decorate the sides of the finger claw like I did over here or you can just color it with crayons or markers. So you want to start off with one sheet of paper and the first thing you want to do is you want to align the shorter side to the longer side. So just fold it upwards diagonally and crease it in. After that, you want to repeat the same thing in the opposite direction. And to do that, you can align this top tip at the top left to this bottom tip right here. So just fold it diagonally. Align the two tips over here. And crease that in. And again, you can use a bone folder or a straight edge or even your fingernail to make a better crease. After that, you want to focus on the top right corner and you want to align this top side to the vertical crease. So fold it diagonally on the top and then crease it in. Repeat the same thing at the bottom. Fold it diagonally, align it to the vertical crease and crease it in. Then you want to take this entire right side over here and fold it along this long vertical crease running down the middle. So take this flap and fold the entire thing over to the left side. And crease it in. After that you want to align this tip to this tip over here. And basically you're just folding the entire thing in half. Crease it in. And then unfold. Now you want to rotate and you want to take notice of this vertical crease right over here. And you want to take this right side and align it to that crease. So fold it diagonally just like this and crease it in. Now you want to take this entire left side and fold it over to the right like this. Then take the entire unit and flip it around. Then take this left side and fold it along this diagonal crease that you see right here. So just take the entire thing and fold it over. Crease it in. And I'm going to lift it up so it's easier for you guys to see on camera. The top should look like this. And you'll notice that there is an opening right over here. Now you want to pay attention to this opening because you want to take this tip and stick it into that opening. So you're going to curve this tip like this and slip it inside. And you're going to slip it in as far as it's going to allow you to go. and then flatten. So now the side should look like this. There should be an opening at the top right where you had just slipped in that tip. There is a taller opening at the center right over here. And then there is an opening on the left side as well. And of course there is one big one at the side. So now I'm gonna decorate mine with some washi tape just because I think it looks a little prettier, but this is a step that you can skip if you want. Alright, so now that it's all decorated, you just stick your finger into the tallest slot right over here. Curve it inwards, and you are done with your claw. And basically, you're just going to make nine more of these. And you're done. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right over there. Also, leave a comment letting me know what tutorial you'd like to see next, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! It's kind of hard to put these on without access to my thumb.